Hi everybody, it's time to do your makeup. One of the brands that I like to go buy makeup from is Head Candy. There's one in Blue Water in England and I absolutely love their packaging. It's so delicious. Look at that. It's fabulous. I love it. It's so nice with the pink inside. Fantastic. It makes me feel happy just looking at this. By the way everyone, I just thought I'd just show you this. Um, you definitely can't tell that hot pink is my favourite colour. No, you definitely wouldn't know that. <laughs> so, you can see I have new glasses. I do like them. Um, I like the Dolce Gabbana geeky look. So as you can see, it's quite square. You can see my eyebrows. Like so. Always remember that when you wear glasses, they are an accessory, just like your hairband, your hairstyle, your jewellery. I was a bit nervous to wear them at first, but I've got so many nice compliments from people. Um, basically, the shape of your face helps determine what glasses shape to go for. Um, I love wearing sunglasses, and even in England, I do wear sunglasses a lot because of the glare, which is called cloud cover. Whilst we're on the subject of glasses, I thought we'd do sunglasses. So here we go. These are, these are all my favourite glasses. These are from Mango. Again, they're really good shades, very super glam. I love them. They're great shape and they're wrap around so the sun can't come in the sight. I love these. And they have a kind of pink effect on them. Then we have my next one, which is my all-time favourite. Again, they've been used in my photo shoot, as you can see in the next picture. These are amazing. They're semi-tinted and I just think they're so gorgeous. And they're from River Island. My next pair is um, a high street pair. I can't remember where they're from. These are great wraparounds. Again, I love the tinted glass and they look super. These are great because they frame your face just over the eyebrow line and they just fit perfect. So it's not always about brands. It's about going for the right shape for your face. And finally, I've got these little ones, again, from River Island. Cute. Absolutely lovely. They're a slightly lower kind of shape, and you can see my eyebrows. Ideally, I'd wear them like that, but this is where they hang on my face. But they're so cool, and they're kind of retro 80s with a bit of a kind of punky pink on them too. Super. As you can see, my hair is really thick and healthy. Sometimes I like to wear it in ponytail or braid it. You part it in the middle and you just take two little non-snag bands that do not have the metal and you put it like this. I think pigtails aren't exclusive to kind of like teenagers because it's just another way of having a sporty natural look to your hairstyle. If you wash your hair every day it's not healthy because the most important thing is that you don't blow dry it every day. It's the heat that damages the hair. As Philip Kingsley, a really good hairdresser in England, once said, it's not the shampoo or conditioner and regular washing of your hair that dries it out, it's the heat. And people use straighteners, they use curling tongs, hot rollers. I don't use any of that. I just plait my hair in the old-fashioned way, sleep on it semi-damp, which means I dry it 60%. I put cream and serum on it to moisturise it. And the next morning, eight hours later, I wake up and just shake my hair free. And I'm good to go. And it's a very natural way to get waves in your hair without damaging it with hot styling appliances. So you can do it too and be more natural in your look. So guys, we've touched on makeup. We've gone barefaced, got the makeup on in five minutes. We've done hairstyle, how to keep good nutrition to keep your healthy maintenance all good. And we've done sunglasses as well. So I'm sure that there are going to be more videos from me, Rachel Evans, coming up soon. I think the next one we're going to do is fashion styling tips with clothes. Anyway guys, thank you again and have a great day.